parking for motorcycles. Hey guys, I haven't posted a video in a while, so I thought I'd give a quick update on my bike and what I've been working on. And uh, lately, as uh, I think I may have talked about in some of my earlier videos, I've been spending a lot of time lately on the road. I've been commuting by bike, so I really wanted to have a USB charger with me so that I could charge my phone and my tablet on the road when I needed to because I spend sometimes an hour, hour and a half, two hours on the road. And, you know, I've started using my, uh, my phone's GPS and stuff while traveling and that just eats up the battery like crazy if you don't have the phone charging so I wanted a USB adapter and I decided the best way to do that is to get the USB adapter itself and get a with this is uh, charges by plugging into a cigarette lighter adapter it's meant for the car and a cigarette lighter adapter itself I had to get I bought this online at dealextreme.com that gets installed into the bike and then you can just plug any kind of cigarette lighter adapter charger into it and then you're off to the races so basically what I did was I went on DL Extreme like I said and I found a few chargers and just looked at the reviews so go online check out the reviews this one had pretty good reviews it was a little more expensive but everyone said that it was the highest quality and that it was worth a couple of extra bucks so I think this was six bucks you can get cheaper ones but this one's really nice it's it's uh, well insulated it's, it's pretty sturdy actually it's made of good sturdy plastic and everything it's got uh, plastic insulators over these spade connectors here that actually attach it you know the cigarette lighter it, uh, socket itself to the wires so that's good installation is really simple uh, the negative terminal of this particular cigarette lighter socket came with a ring terminal already on it so you can just uh, slip the uh, bolt on the negative side through that ring connector on the negative side and that's that's really easy the positive side just came with an exposed wire I mean obviously the, the wire has its insulation on it but at the end it just had some exposed wire so I had a spare spade terminal sitting around I didn't have any more ring terminals so I just clamped a spade terminal on the end, end of the positive wire and sort of tightened it down between the uh, two ring terminals that already existed on the bike this is this bike being my Ninja 250 so that that's really all there is to it there's nothing very invasive about this installation there's no soldering required it's all very easy all you need is an eight millimeter socket and a, a spade connector or a ring terminal and uh, something to crimp it with and, and that's it and this this is nice nice piece it comes with a well, you can it's got a cap on it a rubber cap so you can seal the top in case you're worried about that when you're not using it and this is just a simple two port USB cigarette lighter adapter charger with a uh, LED on it so here if I plug this in let's see if I can do it one handed so dexterous there you go lights up blue tells you it's working and sure enough the I, uh, iPhone is that's gonna be blurry but anyways it's charging I believe that battery icon tells you that it's charging so that really is all there is to it and this particular uh, USB charger uh, like I said it has two ports and they both support 2.1 amps in parallel so you can charge two devices on it at the same time which is really nice and my bike has barely enough space here to kind of like tuck this in so you can put the seat back on and uh, you know you probably want the, the phone itself like strung out into your backpack or something I don't know I still have to experiment with that but the charger itself easy to install very simple and uh, I can certify that it works there it is working uh, one thing to note is that uh, unless you install a switch or something in the series to one of these cables that connects to the cigarette uh, socket cigarette lighter socket itself then there's no way to stop the uh, any charger that's plugged into it from drawing on the battery so be aware of that uh, even the kill switch isn't gonna do anything to uh, stop the charger from drawing because the charger is actually currently hardwired straight to the battery so don't plug anything
anything into the battery when you're not running the bike. Don't don't take me as an example on this. But yeah, that, that's how easy it is. So if you're interested in doing this, super, super easiest mod I've ever done on this on this or any other vehicle that I've owned. So uh, yeah, highly recommended. One quick addendum to the uh, USB cigarette lighter charger adapter, whatever thingamajiggy video is that this particular cigarette lighter socket thingy does come with an inline fuse so it does have that added layer of protection so if you do short anything out in your installation if you uh, fumble it then you are protected by a fuse and it's just it's a simple it's a tube little tube fuse the same kind that you can uh, find in most uh, cigarette lighter chargers so yeah extra layer of protection nice <laughs>